Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of A Link to the Past on Super Nintendo Sundays. I've got this creepy pumpkin trying to steal all my goodies, so we're gonna head into the Swamp Palace. Because I hate people stealing from me. Hopefully, you're all doing well. I'm doing okay. Still a little bit uh, under the weather. Unseasonable. Whatever I'm dealing with, I don't know exactly, so it's been fun, you know. I love dealing with random colds that just persist. I guess it's me getting old or something like that. It seems like the way the world works now that, you know, you can wind up getting sick and staying sick with random things, which is weird for me because I don't normally. I'm pretty, pretty robust. We'll say that. All right, there's the map. Pretty useless. Actually, I actually haven't even been using the map when I look at these dungeons. I'm kind of curious what it looks like. Uh, all right, it's only three floors. Let's go on the basement floor. The B1 of the Swamp Butt Palace. Not too bad. But yes, I will be okay. Eventually. I don't know. It's one of those things where sometimes you can wind up with a relatively innocuous illness that doesn't really seem to feel like it's going to be a problem. And then, uh, you know, it persists and just kind of hangs around, which I'm saying this with the attitude in mind, like when I'm saying that it sticks, man, I'm just getting crushed right now. Um, I'm saying this with the belief that like, oops, that this doesn't happen to me. So. It is definitely something that's new that I'm dealing with, which is unfortunate and frustrating, but you know, life goes on. Just trying to get the old D mic back in place. There are some keys in weird places in this dungeon. I don't know what is happening. But yes, as somebody that doesn't normally get sick, pretty healthy dude. It has been a little off-putting to me and uh, you know, it's like, it's more of like a psychological thing at this point. Like, you know, don't normally get sick and then now I am sick. And it's like one of those things where it hasn't gone away as fast as it normally would. My usual routine when it comes to illness, which I don't know if that's even a thing. Did that wall just poop out that slug? Ew. That's gross. But usually the routine is I get like a sore throat. I can always tell. That always makes me feel better though. Do I push it from this side? There we go. I've got a feeling we're gonna be raising and lowering water levels in this dungeon. Today, that snake's like bleh. Okay. So does that change anything in this room? No. Okay, well that's fun. But yeah, sore throat. Then it kind of turns into like a coughing fit. And then like sinuses. And I'm very blessed that uh, usually when I get sick, I get a fever. It's pretty common for a lot of people. But uh, the fever, for me at least, turns into a really nasty heat rash. Oh man, I'm not going to survive. And uh, I even asked about it to my family physician, my personal care doctor, why that is. I don't have that. I don't know why I even touched it. And he said that I have an autoimmune response that's very similar to what happens to children. So when children get sick, they break out in rashes, and so does D Mike. So how about that? Isn't that fun? That's a good icebreaker. Go to a nice networking event or a, a dinner with friends. Hey, how's your week going? Oh, it's good. I just broke out into a heat rash like a child. So there you go. All right, that's a weird place to put the compass. This entire dungeon's a little strange, but so is getting a bad case of the swamp butt. Did I go all the way? Just the way I started? Wait, what? I feel like I did not start in this room like this. Can I pull these? Nope. Maybe this one? Yeah, usually those weird tongue monsters are like, you won't touch my tongue, are you going to do it? And I'm always going to do it. You know it. I have a feeling I know what the uh, dungeon item is, because I forget 
It's been a hot minute since I played this one. I didn't actually play this when it came out. I think my... My indoctrination to link to the... Will you quit? To link to the past was... Um, I had for Game Boy Advance, you know? I was a little bit of a late adopter to the Super Nintendo. It was kind of more of a... If I'm being fair, I technically grew up with the Nintendo 64. Although, the Super Nintendo is still my favorite console. And... I remember playing this one. Oh, that's, that's shaped like a wiener. Um, I remember playing this one on the Game Boy Advance version. It came with... That's an annoying sound. It came with the Four Swords Adventures combo pack. Which was great because I didn't have anybody that I knew that had it. So that meant I was playing it with nobody. And at that point, you're just going to be playing with yourself. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's plenty of enjoyment and pleasure that you can get out of playing with yourself, but you know, sometimes it's nice to have a buddy or buddies, plural. The closest I ever came to having friends that would do stuff like that was probably like playing, um, I don't know where that, or that, okay, it just goes there. The closest I would get to something like that was when my friends and I had, uh, we played Pokemon back in the day and I was a Pokemon Red boy, as you all should be, or Pokemon Red people, whatever. It's the superior of the two. And, um, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna keep wandering. This episode is just going to be this dungeon, by the way. I'm trying to keep it light for myself and trying to slowly get back into things. Not to say that the things I do are so rigorous, like, oh man, he sits here and talks into a microphone and plays video games. Talk about a true champion. Oh, that leads into there. Okay. It's just a connection. But, um, yeah, just trying to get back into the swing of things. And, I mean, this last week was supposed to be the finale, I think, or close to the finale of Luigi's Mansion. And I don't want to do that game dirty and not really be up to 100%. That would frustrate me, so I decided to just wait until I was feeling better. And I still haven't quite determined if I am at the rate that I want to be to record that finale. If I'm even at... Oh boy. That was all kinds of dumb. I'm not sure if I'm even at the point where I would say I do feel 100% to do it, but we'll see. Alright, looks like I need to raise the water or have some sort of a device... That will allow me to connect across large chasms. I'm not sure what it is. We'll find out. This room is very wet. I'm not a huge fan of these, um, these like water droplets that are coming in hot. Although I do like that this room has a lot of hearts in it. If we remember from last time, I did a really good job of uh, getting my butt kicked and losing my fairies. So I don't have one of those. So there is a good chance that you might see me having to... Okay, that's rude. I don't know where this goes, by the way. Okay. Well, I don't have the blocks in the right order to do this. The orientation is wrong. I'll get out of here. I'll try falling on the other one instead. I am completely winging this. Usually I have like some intuition of how these dungeons are supposed to go, but I have none right now. And my brain is all scrambly wambly. You couldn't already tell. There we go. Okay, that's useless. Um, No hidden walls. So I literally did all of that work just for 20 rupees, which is great because I am full. I am in the 1% of 1% only in game world not in real life unfortunately it makes me wonder though you know there's always people that say like if you had infinite money what would you do you know would you still work would you donate it to charity would you you know blah 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 blah, blah. and um, 
It makes me wonder what I would do, because I don't know. I feel like I need to change the blocks. I'm wasting all kinds of time. I need to switch the blocks over to orange. Which is done via this, I think. Let's see if d Mike can complete dungeons. It's actually funny that I... I'll come back to that thought in a second. But it's funny that uh, I go and... I talk about Zelda dungeons and like not having muscle memory. Because one of my favorite of the Zelda games... Do I have to walk all the way around if I do this? I bet I do. Yep. One of my favorite Zelda games... You turd. One of my favorite Zelda games, because I can't go back this way, yeah, is uh, the Oracle series, the duo, which I really hope that they remake. And I hope that they remake it with the, um, with the engine from Link's Awakening, because Grezzo did a really wonderful job with that, and I would like more of that. Kind of cute claymation Link, and also the Oracle games are, they're, I don't think that they are better, than Link's Awakening, because Link's Awakening is my favorite game in the Zelda series, but I think that they are comparable in quality, and they offer different things, so we'll say that. But I always talk about how when I do these dungeons, I just kind of wing it, and I've gotten about halfway through both of those games, Ages and Seasons. I actually did a kind of a side-by-side -side Let's Play with Jeff Lars way back in the day, which is actually really fun, and that's, I don't know, I felt like that's kind of when I, like, peaked a little bit. Peaked in high school. Um, yeah, that was a good, that was a good combo Let's Play. I missed doing that. Jeff Jeff and I had a lot of fun with that. But, um, this is probably the big key. If I had to guess. Lots of money that I don't need. It sure is. And I could just, I, I could get about halfway through those games. And when I say halfway, I, I well... No, maybe not halfway. Also, um, oh, I don't have the item yet. I got excited and I was going to use it, but I don't have it. Um, but yeah, I get about halfway through those games. Maybe, I think Seasons is the one I got stuck on a little bit. And then uh, Ages is the one I think I got. I got through like six or seven of the dungeons in Ages. I know that I've gotten to the point of um, getting the Zora suit, which absolutely sucks and changes the way that you swim. Not as much fun, but um, yeah, some, some of those later dungeons, I've never actually played them. I've never beaten those games before, never beat them off, so. Oh my gosh, it's the best item. I don't know. Boing? This is the hook shot. It extends and contracts. Boing. Can grapple many things, like my heart. Um, yes. So now that we have this hook shot, which I don't know, I don't remember it being quite as good in this game as. The Link's Awakening hookshot. The Link's Awakening hookshot's incredible. And then in Ages, Oracle of Ages, they ruin it by turning it into the switch hook, which sucks. And that is dumb. Which is kind of unfortunate, because I, I thought that, I thought personally that Ages was a wonderful game. And for a lot of people, they think it's second fiddle to, um, I don't, oh man, I am sucking right now. It's second fiddle to Seasons, but it just depends upon what type of game you want to play. All right. So we have navigated this expertly. Oh, boy. I am on death's doorstep right now. I don't like this. Nope. Oh, arrows. Perfect. Just what I needed. I don't know where anything is. This is completely uncharted territory. Oh, no. That would have been a horrible way to die if that was the... Uh, Oh, and I can't dive. There's no diving in this game. That would have been a horrible way to go if that's how I died. But yeah, going back to my thought earlier, I didn't forget about you. Is, um... No, we're back to this again. It's all it takes. Just one mistake. Um, if you could have infinite money, you know, what would you do? And I don't know. It's a good question. I would say that I would maybe like to do these more. I mean, like, I know some people, they stream for a living, which, imagine that being a thing. And now it's something that people do. Now, I don't think it's necessarily something that everybody should be doing. In fairness, I know that some people I've heard, like, they quit their jobs and they want to become pro streamers and stuff like that because of the one or two percent of people that make it. Which is foolish. And I remember I actually had, um, 
my last job. Oh boy. This is very bad. Any hearts would be cool. Nope, 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 nope. I'm gonna use ranged weapons while I'm in here. Ooh, no. Ow, butts. And do we have a fairy? No, we do not. I don't know why I said that. I knew that. Okay, well, you know what? You live and you learn. I don't know if there's any other part of this beginning part of the dungeon I haven't explored yet. Maybe. I doubt it. This dungeon is kind of stingy with hearts, though. That's annoying. I don't remember if this is the way I was supposed to go. But we're going to make the best of it. Stop sending me money. Yeah, I had a... um. I had an intern at my last job, and he was convinced that he was gonna make it big, and so he didn't really like put any effort into um, the job that he was doing, and it wound up ultimately costing him because he was not brought on after his uh, time was up. So, and I, as far as I know, he is not a successful streamer, unfortunately for him. So it's one of those things where um, I applaud people that can make it happen. I, I think you should follow your dreams. I think that you should do the things in life that make you happy, that make your swirly bits go everywhere. But um, don't things. That's kind of my advice. You know, sometimes you got to have the skills to pay the bills. And as fun as it is to imagine a life of being able to sit in front of a computer in your cool gaming chair, um, a lot of the time it's just not really practical. So if you can make something of it, that's awesome. But don't give up on other things that are, you know, that allow you to survive, I guess. Like maybe that's kind of the message here is prioritize surviving. That's kind of important, right? Make sure you can pay your bills, pay your rent, whatever you need to do. Man, this sucks. I hate this room. I don't even really need to be doing this. Yeah, I could get out of here real fast. Oh, and then we got the bing bongs. I'm sorry, everybody. Okay. Oh, can I not do that? Oh, wait. Oh, it's coming from the other side. What other side is there? Because you can't go... Oh, what have I done? Well, I need to lower the water somewhere, but I don't know where that is. That's fun. I have to be careful here, because I don't want to get... Don't want to get goofed on. Huh. Well. Maybe the, uh... Oh, wait, wait, can I pull that lever? Hold on, I didn't even think about that. I don't think it's a push, maybe it's a pull. How do we do that? Can I do that? How do we grab things? Nope. Um, uh, cause I feel like I'm pretty close to the end of this dungeon. Um, no. Okay, so I need to find another way to get into that room. Without dying. Obviously, it's the room on the right, which is exactly on the other side of this. Oh boy. Everything is horrible. With love of heart. I thought I went this way already, didn't I? Hold on. This is when I get into thinky mode and then I have trouble commentating because I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, so... Hold on. Now, how'd you come back here? Yeah, so I need to drain the swamp. How do I do that? Do I need to move this? Can I pull you? Nope. Can I push you? Don't push me because I'm close to the edge. How do I open this door? Do I need to throw something at it? No. Nope. I'm going to go in here and just think about this for a second because I'm a little confused. Um. Actually, you know what? I just... It makes me think that maybe it's the... Um, it's probably not the switch that's in here. It's probably the other one. Sometimes switches open two doors in rooms, so this could be it. Oh boy. I don't want to die. 
Wise words from D-Mike. Alright, here we go. Let's get rid of these little muffins and see if this opens the door on the other side. How tricky, if that's the case. I could see, yep. The intuition came through. The old gut instinct. Okay, we'll try this. Alright, now we're on the other side. I hate these red ones. These make me grumpy. I don't give any hearts, and so you're just going to be hearing that for a while. Okay, now we can drain the swamp. That's such an awkward animation. I'm just like aggressively running into it. Is this the room with all the stuff? No. Hold on. And we're back to bing bongs. Okay. I just kind of want to like hang out in here for a second. There's just so much going on and nothing gives hearts. Oh boy. I'm in danger. Yeah. Everything is out to get me right now. It's that victim complex coming in. All right, please be hearts. Gotta watch out for you. Really? None? Zero percent, huh? Okay, well, there's that. Oh, viewers. We're doing great. It's awesome that the game doesn't give you any sort of, uh... Halfway point. <laughs> At least in Link's Awakening, they give you the little, uh, little swirly doos to get back to the mini boss. That's the uh, concession. You don't get him. You don't get a halfway point, but you don't have to fight a mini boss, I guess. Which I would rather be doing at this point, all things considered. I don't even know if there's a faster way to get back to where I was. I just want some recovery items. Probably should have gone into this dungeon with hearts. You know, I could have done that off screen, but how much fun is that? Man, everything is just really doing a ton to me. I think that's part of the problem with this dungeon and in the dark world in general is that I'm still hanging out with uh, OG armor, you know, the green tunic. Spoilers. Um, and by proxy, I, uh, I'm taking double damage right now to everything here, which is unfortunate. But at least that wasn't too far of a journey. And like I said, this is just going to be the entirety of today's episode is this swamp butt swamp butt dungeon I cannot talk I'm just happy that I am able to kind of form sentences and thoughts in my head you ever have that problem when you're sick there we go and um, you get a little scatterbrained I'm like that usually it's because of the medication you take all right so it's already been drained actually I'm curious if this is a heart that'd be really cool Love that. Yes. Good find. We're at half capacity right now. Would love to be full capacity. Fortunately, I don't see that happening. All right. Oh, man. I wouldn't care so much if I wouldn't be taking dumb damage. That's the thing that kills me the most. Literally. Here we go. Don't need that. Or that. Maybe you are an item, though. Are you an item to somebody... Viewers. All right, we got the goobers coming out of the walls. You got to watch out for wall goobers. Hookshot's pretty nice at neutralizing a lot of enemies, though, so that's that's good. It's a free free to play kind of thing. Oops. Well, we should be a little bit more careful. I don't know where anything is. I already went in here once. This is where the stupid butthole wall slugs came out of. Nope. This did not produce hearts last time, and it is not producing them this time either. Great. Yeah, this dungeon's real stingy. It's kind of frustrating, especially considering that I'm trying to be careful. Normally I'm not, as I'm sure all of you have seen me play. Where do I go from here? Um, hold on, let's go back out. Um, did I miss something in here? Hold on. I'm 
What I am missing is getting out of the way. Actually, you know what? I probably... Hold on. Do any of these... Can I move any of these? Seems like that's usually the case. This one's kind of out of place. Yep. Oh, I didn't need that. I'm just trying to mind my P's and Q's here. Get out of my way. You big jerk? No. How am I getting hurt by water? Um, let me see here. Oh, that's not cool. Get away from me. Am I safe in the doorway? I think so. All right, hold on. This is just one of those things where I just need to like recalibrate for a second. Am I missing something? Oh, you can go in these? I did not know that. Well, in heart, nice. Okay, game. I was not aware that you could go up waterfalls. I mean, that's kind of like a, a game trope, but I wasn't thinking about it. This windy room. Love more hearts. Four is probably... Wait. Four is probably not going to cut it for the boss, whatever it is. Okay. I mean, you're giving me every other possible collectible item. I am getting pushed against the current here. Oh, there's a key. A key! All right, are you trying to come on land? Because I can't kill you. You are impenetrable. You are defying space-time. Okay, great. Can you come over here so I can get out of the water? Thank you. Whoop. Excuse me. Got the old bombable wall here. Actually, I haven't been using the medallions. Should probably do that, especially considering how much damage I'm taking. You can use uh, Quake or the Bombos medallion. Those ones usually... Uh, We'll clear out a room for you. Heart? No. Heart? No. 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 Yes. Yes. No. Yes. No. I don't know why I said yes there. That is inaccurate. All right. Speaking of that, let's just go ahead and show that off. Okay. A little bit of floating money. All right, and I think that this is the boss door. Oh, boy. Oh, this is going to be uh, rough. So I have a feeling that I'm going to need this. Usually. Oh, no. It's Cheese Puffs. I don't know the name of this boss. I'd like it to stay away from me, though. It looks like it's kind of got some goo on it. Whoa, no, 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 no. Oh, ew. That's nasty. Stay away from me. Covered in, covered in fuzz. Popcorns. Yeah, I think that that's the best way to kind of dodge it, is just to stay away from it. If you can. Looks like it's like a nasty eyeball or something. Help if I would hit the right buttons. There we go. Yeah, it's, so it, it seems like this is a proximity boss. You just gotta stay away from it. It's a nasty eyeball. Covered in Cheetos. Yeah. I'm assuming the further out you go, the safer you are. It doesn't look like it's too much of a... Uh, a problem and if you use the hook shot it's got some range so when it does that spread attack you should be able to stay away which I'm trying to do because I'm horrible at these oh boy I'm horrible at these boss fights I am not good oh you can't still oh that's the only time I took damage in the fight is doing it that way I didn't know that oh no please don't do this to me I only have a, a little bit left Get over here. I feel like Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. Never really played those games growing up. All right, so I missed that one. It's a little sad that he's kind of firing his little one, his one little jelly bean at me. Oh, we got it back. Okay, that's a little awkward. Okay, now can I hit him? Maybe I can fire my arrows at him. Is he just gonna hang? Ooh. Long time you come back. Whoa, 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 whoa. No. Oh, this is bad. I don't like this. How am I supposed to hit him? Maybe I can hit him with a spin attack. 
on the rebounds. There we go. Oh, I hate this. I hate everything about this. I think this spin attack is enough to keep him rebounded away from me. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, you butthole. All right, viewers, I'll be back in the fight. All right, and we are back. Who's ready for boss fight number two? And I have come equipped. So time for Cheetos monster. I know what to do, sort of, this time. I would have loved to have finished that off the last time, but you know, you live and you learn. I actually went out of the dungeon and I grabbed myself a couple fairies, which there's a, a flower spawn just right outside. So I grabbed a couple of those along with my Mountain Dew and my bottles. And I will tell you though, warning, when you do leave a dungeon, in this case, it does reset the flooded mechanic. So if you do choose to leave this dungeon and to go out and get any sort of a, a, a healing item or anything like that, you will have to go back into the light world, reflood the dungeon, and do it again. So not a big deal, you know, it takes five seconds, but just something to warn you. Also, I'm being very reckless. Last time I did this, I was very careful, very, very careful, and taking this dungeon very seriously because I've got healing powers. It's like when you're a little kid, you know, and you can kind of recover from injury real fast and you just take a ton of risks all the time. Like you climb trees and you, you jump off buildings and maybe you uh, do things you shouldn't. Your risk assessment is bad. I'm a kind of low risk. Re high reward kind of guy, you know. I'm very careful with what I do. All right. Can you get a free shot at? No, you cannot. But yeah, we're in good shape now. I have two fairies, so if I can't beat this fight after two fairies, I will have brought complete shame to my family. So hopefully not. There we go. Almost there. It sucks when they land on you. Like, oh, would it? It was one more hit, viewers. Wow, that's embarrassing. Well, we have 13 hearts now, and it's not going to fill up our hearts? I thought it did. Maybe it does when you get the crystal. Crystal always makes you feel good. Let me check your aura. All right, well, that's it. That's the second maiden of... Seven, eight? I don't know. I forget. It's been a while. There she is. D-Mike. Because of you, I can escape from the clutches of evil monsters. Great. As long as that person lives. If you're dead, doesn't matter. Cool. Very exclusive club. Like a Mason Lodge. Ganondorf the Evil Thief. Not really explained well, but... Okay. We do have magical powers, like Santa. Okay, thanks, Exposition Bot. I'm aware of this. Okay, stop your yapping. I got work to do. Yes. I would be very angry if I accidentally clicked no. There we go. It heals us now. Okay. Well, that's all the time we have for today. I'm going to have this creepy Christmas present. Or no, not that. The pumpkin thing is up there. The one that you... Well, you know what? You know what? I'm trying to do an outro here. Excuse me. All right, I got sword beams now. Anyway. All right, that's all the time we've got for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been A Link to the Past on Super Nintendo Sundays, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.